Forensic Challenge Part 4 Test Tube Reactions to Test for the Non-Metal Parts of Salts Test the samples A to F and X Put a small spatula measure of the samples to be tested into a clean test tube. Add diluted nitric acid to a depth of about 3 to 4 cm. If your sample fizzes, then it must contain carbonate as the non-metal part. If your sample does not fizz, then split the mixture evenly into two clean test tubes. To the first test tube, add a few drops of silver nitrate as shown on the screen. Do remember to wear your gloves. If your clear solution gets cloudy, your sample must contain chloride as the non-metal part. To the second half of the mixture, add a few drops of barium chloride shown on the screen. Keep in mind that BACL2 is harmful. If the reaction goes cloudy, your sample must contain sulphate as the non-metal part. Record your results on the results sheet as you test each sample. Paper chromatography to determine the type of ink used. Test the samples 1 to 6 and Y, which we had collected earlier. To prepare a chromatogram, draw a pencil line horizontally across the chromatography paper 1.5 cm from the bottom. Draw a second line above it, which is 3.5 cm from the bottom. Using a thin glass rod, dip the end of the rod into sample Y. Carefully dab the end of the rod onto the upper horizontal line that we have drawn. Make sure that the ink spot is not touching the edge of the paper. Allow the spot to dry and then mark underneath it in pencil which sample it is. Repeat this procedure for each of the samples 1 through 6 using a clean rod each time until we have 7 spots equally spaced horizontally on the paper. It may be easier to use two pieces of chromatography paper and put fewer dots on each. Allow the ink to dry thoroughly. Carefully add distilled water to the beaker at a depth of 1.5 cm, the same height as the lower pencil line on the paper. Suspend the paper in the beaker, provided so that the bottom of the paper just touches the bottom of the beaker. Leave the paper in the beaker for 10 to 15 minutes. Watch carefully as the water rises up the paper. Remove the paper and leave it to dry. Recall the results on the results sheet as observed in each sample. Now, as we can see on the screen, there is a flowchart of testing for the non-metal part of salts. Put a small spatula measure of the sample to be tested into a clean test tube. Add dilute nitric acid irritant to a depth of 3 to 4 cm. Does your sample fizz? If yes, 
the sample must contain carbonate as the non-metal part. If no, then split your mixture evenly into two clean test tubes. To the first test tube, add a few drops of silver nitrate solution. If your solution goes cloudy, the sample must contain chloride as a non-metal part. To the second half, add a few drops of barium chloride. If the solution goes cloudy, the sample must contain sulphate as a non-metal part.